Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all having a great day. I have finally glued together the top of the shelf. This right here is 30 bucks in walnut because it's solid walnut. No, it's 45, I think. Anyways, I still need to oil it. Then it is 100% ready to be screwed to the shelf brackets after I actually put holes in it to screw it there. Also, by the way, this is the top of the guard for the drill press. It sits like that. This is a pulley guard. I got them sandblasted. I brought them somebody with a sandblaster. And now they're relatively clean. I also started shaping them down in the parts that need to be shaping. Is shaping a word? I think so. There was a little overhang right here and I just used a Dremel to take that off. Same thing over here. Anyways, yeah, I need to oil this. Normally wearing some gloves for this would be a good idea, but I don't have any. So this is tongue oil, by the way. So theoretically, you could actually use this as a cutting board too, as long as you're not allergic to nuts, I believe. Basically, this is food safe and I used food safe glue. So this thing will be food safe. So the shelf top looked pretty nice before it was oiled and everything, but now that it's oiled, it looks even better. Here's a before, here's an after, before, after. Looks much better. I just need to do one more coat of the oil in about 24 hours on the top side, then do two coats on the back also. So currently the half pipe has an issue with the coping that I would like to fix. Right now, is that a hammer? Yep. This must have fallen off something. Anyways, I have an issue with the coping, and so it's, I cannot ride the ramp right now because it's so dang cold out, even though it's like 35, no, 32 today. It's like 15 mile an hour winds. So, yeah. The coping is in the right place. It's the plywood under it, or right in front of it. You might be able to see it. The coping sticks out from the plywood way farther over here than it does way back there. I think you can kind of see it. The reason for it is the two x four under here is sideways because of where the coping is. I needed to put it sideways when I put this together. So it's bowed inwards cause it's not on its strongest direction. So that board right there is the issue. What I have to do is I have to, huh, that's gonna be interesting. So over there, you can see the supports for the top surface. I was planning to just stretch a two by four all the way across there on the strong side, so perpendicular to the one currently. That was the plan, but that doesn't look like it'll work because a two by four can't fit right here. This is in the way. So I need to figure that out, huh? So right here, I don't know if you can see it, but this is bowing inwards around here-ish. It needs to be pressed back out. I wonder if I could put shims right here and then use this to help brace it. That could be a possibility. So after a little bit of messing with it, I think I got it pretty flat all the way across. Hopefully you can see on this one, it's straight all the way across. Yeah, it's straight, mostly. Same goes for this side. This side was much harder because it was about three quarters of an inch sunk in. Now it looks much better. I'm going in though, cause it is really cold out. Why must it be so windy all the time? You can see about nothing. Anyways, that's just a temporary fix by the way, until I can actually figure out how to, until I can actually figure out how to properly push the plywood out. I'm just doing that so the whole ramp is actually usable because currently you can only use the one part of it for anything fly out or else you go flying back into the ramp. It's not fun. Come on camera, stop fogging up. I bought a thing. So that item was purchased from the UK. Amazingly, I did not know that this was even possible. It got here in two days. So it went all the way from the UK across America to Minneapolis and then here. That's impressive to get done in two days. Last time I heard about something being ordered from another country, it took 30-ish. That's surprising that it got here so quickly. I should probably open it and be sure it's the right thing though. I have to open it like this so you can't see my address. Looks like the right thing, yeah. And a spray gun. Other random crap. 
Oh, there is more. Yeah. What is this? Oh, yeah. Okay. If you're wondering why I'm doing this unboxing on the floor of my garage, because this thing's still drying on my table, so I can't use this. Product of Italy. They gave me a toothbrush. Okay, then, don't know if you can adjust the pressure or not from this valve, doesn't really matter. Goes on here. This is a big setup, and I'm not really exactly, or yeah, I'm not sure at all how to use these things. So that's gonna be interesting learning that. This may be a stupid idea, or it might be great, I'm not sure yet. It's for the drill press, so I can spray automotive paint on it. I just got the drill press casting back from a machine shop. They had to press out the bearings because they were stuck in there. So now I can actually work on it, but I'm still out of table. So my potentially great plan is I want to actually put filler over everything and smooth it back out because all the different parts for the drill press, like the cover for the top of the spindle, I think it was just the cheapest aluminum that they could buy at the time because there's no reason to make it better. So they just used whatever they could find, I think, because there's tons of holes and stuff, just air pockets from when they casted it. There's crack. The cracks might be from where, I'm not really sure. Well, like this right there, it has air pockets right there from the casting. So I'm gonna fill in all the air pockets with Bondo and everything like that and make it all nice and smooth. And then I want to get a can of paint from Subaru. Let me see the paint color. Subaru. What's the paint called? Either blue pearl or lapis blue pearl. I can't tell the difference. Anyways, here's a photo of each one, each of the different colors. So I want to paint all of the drill press parts, like the casting, the pulley guard and all that. One of those two colors, but first I need to fill in all the holes and make it look half decent. And that is why I bought the spray gun, is to paint it. So the first thing to do then is well, to strip the paint off the parts. I can't do that though because I don't have anywhere to strip the paint because in here it'll gas out this garage, which I don't feel like is a good thing. So I need to figure out how to strip the paint. I might wait till it's warmer out and then try it. So since I can't do that, I am going to make a beautiful pink sculpture out of this thing with a ton of Bondo. This is gonna be fun. I don't really wanna work with Bondo but I wanna make this incredibly smooth and excessively nice looking. I don't know why. Totally a waste of time. So yeah, let's make some sculptures out of Bondo. I would highly recommend if you're gonna mess with chemicals that can cause damage, wear a respirator. I think I'm supposed to say that so nobody can sue me. I'm pretty sure you can hear me great. Again, somebody's in the comments right now being like, no, there's a tool for this. You're not supposed to do that. I'm probably gonna need to do multiple coats on this. This is just my first coat because I'll need to get deeper in there to actually properly do this. I just can't right now because I don't have enough Bondo mixed up. So it's been about an hour of this thing drying. It's a little tacky still, but it's good enough, I think. So I'm gonna start sanding it and hopefully kind of get a decent shape with this first coat of Bondo. I'll probably have to do a second or third one though. So after 15 or 20 minutes of sanding, I kind of have this down to the rough shape that it's supposed to be. There's quite a bit of sanding left, but it is getting there. I think it'll help a lot with the finished result to have it all smoothed out and everything. I will probably have to do another coat or two of Bondo though to finish sealing in all the imperfections, I guess. On every single part, I'm guessing. That's not gonna be fun. Meh, whatever. It's gonna look cool, I hope. I'm gonna end the video here though. It's probably on the shorter side of my videos. The reason for it being YouTube doesn't like me having an inconsistent schedule. So I need to get this uploaded by tomorrow. Also, there should be another video, hopefully in the next few days, 
because I might, depending on the weather, dang it, now it's supposed to be cold tomorrow. Anyways, there might be another video soon, as in in the next three or four days. So yeah, thank you for watching. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you liked it, share it if you liked it. See ya.